Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, we're going to look at how you can set up your very own personal booking page in Microsoft 365. With a booking page, you can have other people come in and book time with you based on when you're available. It helps eliminate that back and forth of trying to schedule a meeting. The one caveat though is you do need a Microsoft Work or School account to be able to take advantage of this. Let's check this out. There are three different ways that you can set up your own personal booking page. The first way, head to the website book.ms. At the very top, you'll see a section for a personal booking page and over on the right hand side, click on go to my booking page. You can also get there directly through your Outlook on the web calendar. Over on the left hand side, make sure that you're in the calendar view. And right over on the left hand side, there's the option to go to my booking page. Right up on top, you can also click on this drop down and you can set up bookable time. The only downside of this entry point is you don't get quite as many features. Let's click on go to my booking page. This drops me onto my personal booking page. And currently I don't have any types of meetings that people can book with me, but here in a moment, we're going to change that. I can set up two different types of meetings. I can set up a public one. Basically anyone who comes to this page will be able to book that meeting. Or I could also set up a private meeting, meaning that someone needs a link that I share with them to be able to set up that type. And don't worry, you can always change the type later on. For now, I want to set up a public meeting. Over here, I'll click on this plus icon. This now drops me on a page that allows me to define the meeting type that people can book with me. So imagine that you're a piano teacher. Maybe you'll offer a 30 minute lesson and then you could also have maybe a one hour lesson. Or maybe you're a hairdresser and someone could book, let's say a haircut or a color appointment with you. You could define all of those different types of meetings on this page. For now, I'll go through and fill out some information for a cookie consultation. I've now filled in all the details for a one-on-one -on -one cookie consultation. You can meet with me and learn all the ins and outs of making the best cookies in the world. And I truly mean that, they are the best. You can define a location. You could also toggle on or off whether it's a Teams meeting. Over here, you could define how long this meeting is for. And here you could change whether it's public or private. You could always come in later on and you can modify that as well. Down below, you can also define when people can book this meeting. Currently, it's using my regular meeting hours as defined in Outlook. You could click on this link to modify that, or you could even use custom availability hours right here. And then you could define what times people can book with you. At the very bottom, you also have some advanced options. You have all sorts of different options you could customize. For example, what is the minimum lead time? I want people to give me at least one day's notice before a meeting. I will select one day right here. All of this looks good. In the top right hand corner, I'll click on save. This drops me back on my main booking page. And right here, you can see that I now offer one meeting type. People can book a one-on-one -on -one cookie consultation with me. To add additional meeting types over on the right hand side, just like we did before, I can click on this plus icon. But for now, I think just a one-on-one -on -one cookie consultation is enough. Of course, I want people to book time with me, so I need to share this page with others. Up in the top right, I can share this entire page with all the different meeting types that I offer by clicking on this button. I could copy a link to this page and I can incorporate this into my website or maybe in social media. I could also share this entire page via email or I could even add it to my email signature. This way people can book time with me directly from email. Down below, I also have this three dot menu. And when I click on this, I can also share this individual meeting type. I can copy a link or I could share it and I have a few other options as well. I just want to share this one meeting type. I'll click on share. And here I see that it's for a cookie consultation. Here I see the URL. I'll click on email. And right up above, let me type in an email address for Nestor and I could type in my message. Nestor needs some help learning how to make what's called a real cookie. Down here, I'll click on send. Nestor has now received an invitation to a one-on-one -on -one cookie consultation. Down below, I'll click on book meeting. This now drops Nestor on my booking page and here he could choose the meeting type. Currently, I just offer a one-on-one -on -one cookie consultation. Down below, you can choose the day. And remember, I set a one day lead time, which is why there are no available times today but here he could choose any one of these other dates. What's neat is you'll notice this green circle around the days. That indicates that Nestor has availability on those days. 
I'll select tomorrow. And over on the right-hand side, you can now choose a time that works for both me and also when Nestor is available. I'll choose 3 p.m. Some neat features up here in the top right. You have a few settings that you can configure. And if you click on this, you can also choose the time zone. 3 p.m. looks good, so I'll click on next. This now opens up a dialogue where Nestor can type in all of his information along with any notes that he would like to share. Once he's all ready, he can click on book. And look at that, we have a cookie consultation all booked. Here now on both Nestor's calendar and also my calendar, we both have the one-on-one -on -one cookie consultation. If I click into this meeting invitation, here there's the option to manage the meeting. We can use this to either reschedule or cancel this meeting. This all works great for a personal booking page, but maybe you're running a larger operation and you need to add multiple staff members, multiple services, or maybe you want to customize your booking page more. In the top left-hand corner, let's click on back to all booking pages. And at the very bottom, you can set up what's called a shared booking page. You can click on this create button. With a shared booking page, you get a lot more control over what your booking page looks like. You could also add multiple staff members. You could also add a variety of different services. To learn more about these booking pages, click on the video link in the top right hand corner. All right, well, hopefully we get a lot of people signing up for one-on-one -on -one cookie consultations because we all know we need better cookies in this world. To watch more videos like this one, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.